Well, I got an idea for you guys today, an RV hack. Let's see if this works. I've got to disassemble this right here, which is not a big deal, um, to actually pull the hot water heater out, which is what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to uninstall it again. Uh, so I have to turn off the propane, which is right here. Nothing hard here, just tighten it down. The next thing I want to do is take out the drain plug. Okay, I've got it unscrewed enough to actually you can see the water running around it. I'm about to get it all the way out here. I've unplugged this. I'll show you what this leads to here in a moment. You can see I've got the plug out, but actually it's more than a plug. It's this, the heating element that is destroyed. This is being replaced with the new one. They're both made this is a lightning rod product, which I love. And if you're looking at this saying, oh my goodness, I never want that product. Listen, this is my fault, okay? I don't want to go into all of the explanation for it, but this is something that I've done and uh, not the product itself. So I bought an, a replacement rod for this six gallon water heater tank. This little red box here connects to the lightning rod and uh, it, it runs inside. There's some wiring that runs inside, as you can tell right here. It runs up and in and inside you flip it on so that's how you get hot water electrically through this unit it's an aftermarket product it's a great product okay everything is uninstalled unscrew all of these screws here no big deal I recommend using a screw gun for that job the next job unplug your motorhome where my water heater is is next to the actual electrical is next to the electrical panel. So, better be safe than sorry. My wife will appreciate me taking my shoes off. <laughs> Get you a little uh, headlamp or flashlight. I can reach back in there. Simply gotta unscrew two water lines and it'll be ready to come out. It's a piece of cake, it looks a little complicated, but it's actually very easy. As you can see, I got the cover off the electrical panel box. Uh, I believe there's just four screws. I need a new battery. Ah, better. Okay, I got it uninstalled, shoes back on. Let's go back outside. All right, as you can see, I've already pushed it from the back. It's just going to go through the top here and I've got one more thing to unhook and as I pull it out you'll see it it's right in there it's just another wiring harness that I'll release and this unit is ready to be uninstalled a little more water in there now that I've changed the angle all right so this is the cardboard that covers the insulation can see it's kind of old and decrepit but I want to utilize this cardboard because this entails my hack sold insulation along with this cardboard was basically what was insulating this tank this is the tank modern tanks today I believe come with better insulation which lowers cost and maybe keeps the water at a more even temperature and I suspect that it actually helps keep heat inside the tank I have bought this product great stuff big gap filler it's insulating foam sealant so I'm going to utilize my cardboard box there and I am going to try to completely cover 
this tank with this sealant. Now I've got three cans, I hope I've got enough. Basically, I'd like to fill that box up full of sealant around this and canister. I'm gonna see if this is gonna work. If it does, this may be an option for some of you that are looking to put a better insulation around your tank. As you can see, I'm gonna work inside these gaps, try to fill up everything I can, uh, every hole, every crevice, all the way around with uh, this foam. It sort of fills itself up. Let's try to feel your way along here. All right, a little messy, but I'll show you the progress so far. Because one of the things that this is going to do is solidify this cardboard around this box. It's going to strengthen it and hold it together better. It's going to tack. It's going to sort of be like a glue in between the two. So not only will it insulate, but it'll help to hold it together. And it's just going to be a better system all the way around. It's, uh, it's forming up quite nicely. It's a mess, by the way. But uh, I'll make it look a little better than it looks already. And uh, so far, I think it's going to be a total win. And I'm quite pleased with it. Okay. I've got my adapter on here. This is what it looks like after it's been setting up for a while. Um, naturally, I can go around and trim up some of this excess, um, but I'm imagining this is going to uh, be something that I'm going to be very proud of that I've done. As any RVer will know, recovery time is crucial when you've got a six gallon water tank. And if this helps with the recovery time by holding in the heat better, then I would feel like it was a major win. Recovery is the most important part of the whole RV lifestyle, unless you've got a system like an aqua hot system where you uh, don't have to worry about it, uh, continuous unlimited hot water. I don't have that. I have a six gallon water tank and if I could insulate it so that it will heat up faster, it's worth it to me. As you can see, I've got the water heater back into the coach. All right, we've got a test for you this morning. I'm going to turn on the hot water. Naturally, the water is going to get from the heater out. The reason I'm testing this this morning is I want to show you something. That water is still a little warm. The significance of that is I've had the water off all night long. And it hasn't just been a regular summer afternoon. It dipped down below freezing last night, best I can tell. In fact, it's 32 degrees now, and it's 9, 10, 9, 9, 11 a.m. I'm obviously going to turn it right back on, but the water's been off, and yet it was able to hold enough heat that it was still a little warm this morning. Well, after shooting the RV hack video, I've spent quite a bit of time with our hot water heater, and I've got to say I, I'm glad I did it. It works fantastic. There's just some positives to it. If any of you have an older hot water heater tank and have noticed the insulation around it is very poor, just remember after you've applied your gap filler to take a knife after it is hardened and cut off all of the excess, you need the box. So keep it. It obviously holds heat better and it holds heat in longer and uh, it probably heats up faster and it would probably save you money in the long run.